Our level three award in education training is inclusive. So what this means is that we create a learning environment which maximizes learning potential. And how does your training maximize learning potential? So let's initially talk about the venue, rooms and resources first. So venues could be anywhere. This could be in a classroom, meeting room, staff room, online via Teams or Zoom, or even in a car park. The venue needs to be suitable for learning to take place. The rooms are the way the furniture is laid out. For example, first aid course will need for open spaces to demonstrate CPR. Then we're gonna talk about the temperature. Is it sufficient? Is it too cold for someone to be there too long a time? Is it too hot to carry out practical activities? So this makes a difference. If learners are not comfortable, they cannot apply their best learning. Resources used make a difference too. Are they suitable for each learner? Have you used the latest technology or are you still using Windows 97? Are books the most recent or are they again from 1950? And have you catered for a range of different learning styles? So learners that like to read can read. Those who like visual can watch. And learners that like doing can actually practice. So we typically only use pre-approved classrooms for the level three award in education and trainings. We need to have a certain layout for different parts of the course to facilitate our activities. So when we want to use group work, can learners sit in groups or are you using a lecture theater? All these factors will make a difference to the outcome of the session. So you need to be ensure that your venues, classrooms and resources are suited to the topic and your learners own individual preferences. You may need to break these up into a variety of different locations. So let's think about lifeguards, for example, they're likely to learn in the classroom, but eventually they'll need to get into the pool. So you need to factor in this. So particularly mindful of rooms and venues where you do not have full control, as sometimes you don't always get what you ask for. So you need to plan alternative activities should something not happen. So I remember booking a classroom only for the venue to have a leak. So this actually affected the session massively. So we needed to adapt the activities from a theory session to more practical based lesson. So expect some curveballs and plan for them. Some issues we have faced in the level three award in education and training is when learners struggle to log into the virtual learning classes. So you need to find ways to overcome these. So what support is there? What are ways to get around them? To maximize the learning, you need to establish a purposeful learning environment where you, your learners feel safe, secure, confident, and valued. If they don't, they're not fully focused on the task. Learners may not be concentrated on their learning, but they're thinking about when they can go to the toilet or to get a drink. And trust me, I know. So if you can make your session interesting and varied, your learners will enjoy the experience and remember more about the subject than you. Rather than the environment or lack of facilities, so the advice we give in the micro teach is if you're studying the level three award in education training, you'll need to use a variety of different activities and not utilize the whole session on one core activity. So you advise to mix it up. Think about it, you may not be able to hit every learning style with one activity, but you can with two or three different activities. So if you're teaching a practical subject, you'll need a suitable environment so that you can demonstrate your learners can practice. If you're teaching a theoretical subject, you may be fine in the classroom, but you might need a computer, projector, or interactive whiteboard. So you, you might be delivering a seminar in a venue that you've never visited before. And if this is the case, it'd be useful to telephone or to visit in advance to check what facilities are available for you. So the Level 3 Award in Education Training encourages trainee teachers to create an inclusive teaching and learning environment to enable all learners to participate and work towards achieving their goals. Your learners should always feel safe, secure, confident and valued. And the environment includes not only the venue, the equipment and resources, but also the attitude of the teacher, the approaches used and the support given to learners.